This is Byron Gordon for the SES Conference Channel. It is day three. We're at Connected Marketing Week here in San Francisco. We're taking time out to speak with Jeff and Ray here at the 140 Character Conference. Uh, Jeff, uh, you are. Uh, we're talking about uh, farming, cattle ranching, uh, and the use of the real-time web. And uh, you're with uh, KK Bar Ranch. Um, before I speak with you, Ray, tell us, give us an example of how you're using the real-time web right now. Right now, I'm using Twitter and Facebook as well as YouTube to reconnect and share the farming and ranching story with consumers. Uh, there's been a disconnect due to the tremendous uh, separation of people in the general public today and how their food is grown and produced. And so I'm trying to share my story and then also through the AgChat Foundation, which you can find at agchat.org, we're helping to empower other farmers and ranchers to share their stories and reconnect producers with consumers so people understand why, how, and what is done to get the food on their table, the shelter over their head, the clothes on their back, and reconnect with that consumer so there's an understanding. Okay, Ray, come on over here. Uh, tell us about um, how you're using the real-time web with your dairy farm. Uh, basically, same thing that Jeff had said. I'm using uh, a blog, I'm using Facebook, I'm using Twitter, a uh, little bit of YouTube to explain and tell the story of what I do to f make the food for people to uh, enjoy or make the milk that ends up in the dairy products that people enjoy, uh, how we care for the environment, how we care for our communities, uh, all that care and uh, time that we spend taking care of those uh, precious resources that we have as farmers to uh, protect those resources and move forward. And as Jeff said, there has been a disconnect with the consumers and they don't fully understand uh, what we are doing on the farm today. And this is a way for us to let people know what we're doing, tell that story and help them understand why we do what we do to feed fuel and feed fuel and clothe people. Okay, now you both uh, founded the AgChat Foundation. So let's, uh, how old is the AgChat or how new is the AgChat Foundation? And um, where are you seeing most of the activity uh, on that website? Uh, there were seven of us, I believe, originally that came together. Uh, we all met via social media. Uh, only three of us had ever met any of the others in person, uh, so it was a new experience. The foundation was created in March of this year, and uh, we launched it on April 1st. And from there, it, it has grown tremendously. Uh, we have four cornerstones. Uh, the, the, the first one of the important ones is the idea of simply connecting with the consumer. Uh, we also do data analyze, analyzation. Uh, we offer scholarships and it's to help empower farmers and ranchers uh, to share their stories. We're having our first conference coming up at the end of this month, August 28th, uh, for farmers and ranchers across the country. And in fact, we have two participants from Canada who are gonna be participating and having sessions to help them become more comfortable in utilizing social media and sharing their stories. And uh, the growth and the recognition has been tremendous. Uh, Ray, would you like to? I Again, the Ag Chat Foundation, it's all about helping those farmers tell their stories and we can take our experiences as farmers that have been using social media and help other farmers tell their stories so uh, people can understand what we're doing and it's not just us farmers that have been using social media that we can help the other farmers, whether it's through a blog, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, whatever medium that they choose to use, they can help tell their stories and we can help them. And as the tagline of our website goes at agchat.org, we're just trying to empower a connected community of advocates. And advocate is basically just uh, the marriage of the two words, agricultural advocate, and you put those together and you get advocate. And all we're trying to do is uh, show people what we do and why we do it and help them understand that. Is it um, natural for ranchers and farmers, uh, when they uh, first are introduced to this technology, do they just take to it like a horse to water, or are they a little uncomfortable at first? What, 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 uh, how would you describe it? <laughs> it it's, a, it's a process of learning. The more comfortable someone gets with something, the easier it comes, the more comfortable they get, the more they use it. Uh, as they begin to use it, they start to ask questions, how can I use it better? It's like any technology that we implement in our farms and ranches. Uh, several years ago, 
computers weren't thought of on the ranch. And now I'm using hydraulic systems in my central pivot systems that were developed at NASA. We're using water sensors on our irrigation that were developed for other purposes, but we're now taking those technologies, uh, implementing them on the farm. I'm now comfortable with them, where my dad would never have thought of doing that. And uh, it's one of the unique features of AgChat Foundation is we recognize the diversity of all agriculture production. It, it, whether it's the method of production, whether you're organic, natural, grass-fed, or conventional, we recognize the diversity and the need to have that diversity in order to feed, feed a world that, that needs what we're producing and recognize regional differences between countries, even within the state of California, the tremendous diversity within our state of production practices and how we go about growing what we grow. Would you like to add anything else, Ray? Uh, basically, uh, just the fact that the biggest thing is trying to help other farmers uh, speak out. And by telling the stories of how we got involved in social media, we can help the other, pe other farmers become comfortable using it. Uh, the generation that Jeff and I are in is a lot more adept to using our cell phones and using uh, these methods to speak out and talk. You know, where it was the previous generations were going to the coffee shop in the neighborhood and creating their social network. Now Jeff and I and other farmers like us are creating social networks around the world and we're connected with people in other countries and it allows us to connect with a lot more people in a lot, lot more different diversified means than just connecting at the coffee shop. It's the same basic human concept of being social, it's just in a different medium. Jeff and Ray, thanks so much for chatting with us. Thank you. Thank you. And there is more to come from Connected Marketing Week. It's only day three. Stay tuned for more.